We've just left the Dugway Geobeds and we're in search of Topaz. Oh my gosh, and it even says. Can I get a photo of that? Rockhound area. <sighs> Hey everybody and welcome back to Ellie Knows Rocks. I am at the awesome Topaz Mountain today and we are going to try to find Topaz, maybe some barrel and some garnet on this beautiful gigantic hill behind me. I'm so excited about this. I have brought friends and we're all going to see what we can find. So that's amazing. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. Let's go see what happens. Topaz Mountain has both public digging areas and private claims, plus campsites around the mountain. I can't even believe this right now. We are here at Topaz Mountain. So exciting. We have set up our camp trailer and we're looking for stuff like on the ground immediately. And this is the type of rock that we're looking for. It is a pyroclastic flow and there's gas bubbles inside. So this is how you get vapor phase garnets is in this type of material. One thing that was a really cool, there's a fire pit that was already made here. So I was looking around the fire pit for types of rocks to show everybody. And I straight up found a piece of rock with two topaz in it already. Those clear guys right here. A wine color or champagne topaz is actually the color of topaz we're looking for, but once they're out in the sunlight, they actually bleach out. So these have been in the sunlight for quite a while. You can see they're clear. That big guy right there, and then a smaller one right beside it. Those are awesome little topaz crystals in this pyroclastic, a little bit of rhyolite mixed in there with it. So right now, we're gonna hike up there behind me start looking around. Minnie's getting her stuff ready. Dan set up the generator to do kinds of stuff. It's on. It's a face. Two lies and a mouth and even a weird looking nose. We just drove away from the campsite area and we came across the um, uh, Topaz Adventure Mining Claims. And so now we're here and we're gonna get out and start digging along the side of the hill. We're gonna go up there. So this is the material we're looking in right here. We've climbed up the hill now. Truck's down there. And you can even see the shine in the rocks and kind of how it glitters. So we're just looking for anything that's either popped out or in little rugs. You can see how shiny everything is. Ooh, we got this little thing right here. Look at that. And there's kind of a funky little topaz that's been bleached out. <laughs> We're finding them on the road walking up. So Dan's already started digging over there. I might join him in that area, but we have this whole area is our playground right now. And there's a really big operation going on there. That's the mining claim in the area and a fee area. But we're doing this right now. Look, Dan found a topaz. Look at it. It's really dark in color too. Now he's just got to work around it to get it out. <laughs> Dan found the first champagne topaz color or the first champagne colored topaz of the day. Hang on, let me turn the camera around. Look at that. It's cute, it's not perfect, but that's amazing. That's a great start. I just found some really teeny, 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 tiny ones. You can barely see them in there, but it's there. We're gonna go to that tunnel up there in the wall. Dan and I literally found out the hard way that we took the wrong way to get to the cave. We were cliff rock climbing to get there but we finally, finally made it. I even hauled my bag all the way up to the top, but man, it was exciting. Okay guys, I have borrowed a screen from these two gentlemen right here because I didn't bring any of my gold painting equipment. Plus we hiked all the way up this hill and they were kind enough to be sharing this giant area cave to say, hey, come look for stuff. And they've been finding red barrel 
So holy crap, they just scooped me some of the stuff that's back up in there. Check this out. Oh my gosh, look at that little guy. Look how cute he is. Hopefully that will clean up super neat. Oh my gosh, that is, that is a find. Thank you guys. That... Of course. <laughs> of course. What, what are your names? Ryan. Ryan? Yep. Do you guys have a channel or anything? Nope. Nope? nope. We just, uh, <laughs> we're going to start an Etsy store called uh, Front Range Minerals. Front Range Minerals, yep. guys. Coming soon. <laughs> Very good. This is the first red barrel I've ever found. It's so exciting. It was a bucket list thing for me to find. I continued to use the sifter so that I could go through the powder in the cave to find little tiny pieces of topaz. It was super exciting. And no, Dan was busy pulling out his own pieces of topaz to get pictures of me shuffling through this horrible dusty situation, which I couldn't use a camera for. But I probably spent at least an hour just sifting through material that had already been dug through out of this cave right here. Looking for some barrel though. Oh, another little. Look what Dan just pulled out of a bug. Oh my gosh. Very cool. Dan's right in his bug right here. Hopefully, he's about to pull out something and not break it. Can you work around it at all? No, I don't think that's Alright. Are you sure? Yeah. You want me to get my fingers in there? Yeah. <laughs> hmm? Maybe. Ooh, cool. Maybe that looks good? Maybe? Here, can I see? Oh. Oh my gosh. That, that is beautiful. That is the find of finds, holy cow. I can see myself turning this into a beautiful necklace. What do you guys think? The whole area is just like a cave of glitter all over the walls, behind me and everything. Pretty precarious, but really cool. I'm gonna start digging right in here right now. Up in there. See that? I'm almost getting it out. All right. Make it it's super hard for you to see. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. There's a couple pieces though. There's that one. Those. Look how neat they are. Another little one. I probably broke it all apart, but that's pretty neat. That guys, I just popped off this whole little section. I'm about to pull out that little topaz, and there's another one up there too. Hey, down you hold the camera. Mm -hmm. okay, let's see. One more. Taking stuff like around it. I just want it to come out nice and easy. Oh just... yeah, it's ready. This is gonna fall. No, it's not. Cause it's still it's, it's stuck in there a little bit. I can't I can't get it out just yet. I need to move this little rock. <gasps> there it goes. I told you. Why does that? I think it's gonna look cute. Oh, but the tip's got stuff on it. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Wow. There might be another one up in there, but I'm gonna try to get that little guy out. <gasps> Dan is traversing back. That was an awesome little place. Look at that view. And now we're traveling along this footpath. Yeah. I have to go all the way down to our truck way down there. Hasn't this been just amazing to come see all of this stuff? 
I am seriously blown away. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. It has been awesome for us. We found some amazing, amazing pieces. Now we're headed back down. I am so filthy. I have dirt all over my face, but such a great trip. So well worth the hike. It was a journey to get up here. Holy crap. That's the cave where we were just at. That was freaking amazing. And this next one, this big wall, is where I want to go to when I come back to Topaz Mountain. There's Minnie digging over there. She's grabbing her backpack and we're heading back. We're finally to the truck. This little guy right here, this is a topaz. It's been bleached out from the sun because the champagne colored topaz gets very clear uh, with the sun's UV rays, but you can find them just on the ground. It's been awesome. It's been really cool to like be searching and seeing them. It's been a great trip. So when you guys left me, I sat down on this rock for a shade break and I saw some red barrel, <laughs> a tiny little piece. So then I tried to dig it up and it flaked off and flew somewhere. And then I found it, tried to pick it up again and it was just so tiny and I had no idea what I would do with it. I did take pictures of it, but I lost it. Um, I dug out, I started seeing crystals in the side here. So I just started digging them out and putting them in a pile over here. So I've got a bunch of little crystals. Then I just now got this one. It's got a bunch of crystals all inside of it. I'm gonna take back and break apart. It's really cool though. It's got like a ton of crystals in it. That shimmer. Shimmer. Look at that baby. <laughs> it's coming out. Here's the plate of my finds plus all of the little ones. And then the plate of Dan's finds. Dan found the most amazing beauty. I mean, look at that. That is stunningly awesome. And then he found, where is it? This one? Oh, it's this one. I'll have to figure out how to get really close zoomed in, but it has a little piece of what could be tourmaline or stibnite. I will have to figure that out. And then his little red barrel that he found which is amazing. And all these other little pieces that will need to be cleaned up. And then I have, where to go? Whoop. I have two pieces of red barrel. Isn't that awesome? Those guys right there. Whoops. And then I, I have a piece with what looks like some Galena on it. And then this one is my favorite that I pulled out of the wall, but all of them, they awesome. And you can see a huge difference that used to be that champagne color and they do bleach out in the sun. I'm so excited. These are amazing, amazing finds. Here are our finds cleaned up. We found three red barrel in total. I found two and Dan found one. And for the topaz, we found a handful of them, but I feel that these are the most beautiful. Dan found that big one in the back and the twinned one up front. I found those other three and I'm just ecstatic. You guys, has this not been amazing? That cave that we are in is the same cave where the crystal collector and that camping couple went up to to find red barrel, and we did it. We found red barrel. Isn't this been awesome? The hike to get up here has been amazing. I'm filthy. I have dirt head to toe. It is steep, 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 steep cliffs, and we still have quite a ways to go before we get back to the truck. But thank goodness to those guys up there who let us use their sifter. That was so awesome. We wouldn't have found the red barrel without them. So thank you to you two. And we're headed back to camp. It's been an amazing trip. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this epic adventure. And I'll see you on the next one.